This is the first section of a series on the ancient world, uh, going from roughly 40,000 to 500 BC. Uh, this is the first and earliest history of humanity. As it evolved from cave dwellers to village dwelling farmers to populations and towns, up to and including the first advanced civilizations. It was around 40,000 BC that humans first built their own homes, made music, and painted pictures on the walls of caves. It was not until around 8,000 BC that the first farming and trading villages were built, and another 5,000 years, 250 generations passed before important civilizations appeared in Egypt and Mesopotamia. Though there is fossil evidence that the earliest humans evolved at least 130,000 years ago on the continent of Africa, their lives were extremely simple compared to our own. By 40,000 BC, humans had learned how to use fire to keep themselves warm, cook food, and scare away wild animals. From being hunters and gatherers of wild fruit, berries, and seeds, they slowly found out how to grow crops and keep domestic animals. Around 8,000 BC, life became more complex as farming villages developed in the Middle East. It was much later that other parts of the world developed this way. During the next 3,000 years, important basic activities such as building, tilling the land, pottery, copper working, sewing, and animal breeding were introduced. It was not until 3,000 BC that the first towns were built beside the rivers in Egypt, Mesopotamia, and China. By 2600 BC, large constructions such as the pyramids in Egypt and the stone circles around Eastern Europe and the first temples in Peru were built. Around the same time, the people in the kingdom of Kush in East Africa were learning to work metal, and Chinese astronomers first observed the eclipse of the sun. Civilization had come into being. The first humans, 40,000 to 10,000 BC. The earliest human-like ancestors evolved over a period of several million years. Our closest true ancestors have developed only within the last 50,000 years. The earliest hominids, human-like creatures, were Australopithecines. Many of their bones have been found in East Africa. They walked upright and made simple tools from pebbles. They were probably not true humans because their brains were very small in comparison. Proto-humans. Homo habilis, handy human, appeared about two million years ago. This hominid had more skills and lived alongside the last of the Australopithecines. The most advanced early human was Homo erectus, upright human, and remains have been found in Africa and Asia. By learning how to cook fire and keep warm, Homo erectus was able to move from place to place. Neanderthals. Around 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens, wise human, developed from Homo erectus. At the same time, another human type, the Neanderthal, adapted to the colder climates in the last ice age, spreading through the continents of Europe and the Middle East. The Neanderthals developed many simple stone tools, uh, though their language was limited. They did not survive into modern times, though the last known Neanderthals died out in Spain around 28,000 years ago. Uh, the Ice Age. The last Ice Age was at its height around 16,000 BC. It had a major influence on how early people developed. It was the most recent of several Ice Ages that have occurred over the last 2.3 million years. With much water trapped in ice, the sea level was about 300 feet, or 90 meters, lower than today. As a result, there was dry land between Siberia and Alaska, between Australia and New Guinea, and between Britain and Europe, that allowed people to migrate. In places such as Lascaux in southwest France, Ice Age people made cave paintings, possibly to honor the spirits of the animals they hunted for food and clothing. Cro-Magnons the humans of today are probably descended from the Cro-Magnons, a group of hunter-gatherers who seem to have entered Europe from the Middle East and eventually replaced the Neanderthals. These people gathered fruit, berries, roots, and hunted wild animals. They lived in simple caves and shelters. Around 40,000 years ago, they had developed mentally to become more like modern humans, with more ideas and a larger vocabulary. They began creating artworks, including cave paintings in France, Spain, and the Sahara. They made jewelry, figurines, clothes, shelters, tools, and hunting weapons. The cro made jewelry from stones, bones, ivory, shells, and teeth. It was often buried in graves. cave dwelling hunters tackled very large animals such as mammoths, but they also brought back a variety of smaller animals including hares and deer. 
Alright, see you guys tomorrow.